<laughs> I've returned to cause chaos. It starts with this cat moment, which I got from the uh, with the, from the arcade that opened up from my uh, ball a few weeks. Very nice, isn't it? Now get him out of here. I do the whole recap where I've been like, oh, this is what I've been doing for the past few weeks, but I don't feel like doing that. So let me just go into it. So as we already know, this year we have, of course. Sonic Movie 3, and later this month, we have the Knuckles TV show preparing, and I guess or sort of think this will probably be like the end of like the whole live-action Sonic, but nope! We are now officially getting a cinematic universe. So this article went out earlier today, so it says right here when talking about Sonic, so we got really excited about the idea of expanding our characters in our world into television specifically because it gives us a platform to really do character studies, he explains. We knew that with Shadow coming into Sonic 3 and some of the bigger things that we want to do, the Sonic franchise of the movie side is going to be Avengers level events. They're going to be big, exciting stories that, that have a lot of different characters, and so what television did for us is give us time to go into some of the more supporting characters in depth and really build them to cool ways. So, yeah, it definitely it sounds as though they're pretty much going to expand way more and they're not going to stop after movie three. I know for a lot of people they didn't really want to see a cinematic universe with Sonic. Like they, they we don't have to like make everything a cinematic universe. This doesn't have to have a whole thing, this doesn't have to have a whole connection. And I in a way I understand that, but in a way it, I'd say it expands more with the media itself than just like just being a whole universe because keep in mind there's still stuff that they can utilize that's gonna take a while to be utilized within the games because remember they're still <laughs> they're slowly bringing stuff back into the games as well that they can also bring into the m movies which can be very great because i'd say that's what the whole purpose was for the Knuckles show as well is that they're going to test the waters of how they would, they're going to handle spin-off shows for all the different characters. Because, um, remember, with Marvel, they did that as well with um, a lot of their characters. I'd say the, the, the successful ones that did well were, of course, WandaVision, Winter Soldier, um, and... Uh, Loki, yeah, Loki, all, I, those three did fine, and then, um, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, there was one more, I think, I'm not sure what, but I know those did not do well, so they're testing the waters, at the very least, with each of these spinoffs, because I know with Knuckles, they definitely want to expand more on his story, talk more about Echidnas, and I know it's probably going to be a bit hard, because I, pretty much, I can already see, um, the show essentially being a bit of what movie one was and that's developing knuckles character more in a way for him for future movies which i do like i i, I think i'm going i know a lot of people are going to be annoyed not seeing certain aspects of that but i like seeing more character aspects being shown here than just throwing them in so that at least they don't have to develop the character more while in the movie i think that Style, I can understand. I know some people may not like it, but it's going to work a lot better in the long run. I definitely tell you right now, after movie three, because yeah, remember, movie three is going to have Shadow in it, so I do not think anyone's just going to be like, yeah, we got one movie with Shadow, that's it, we don't want one to be done. No. And once you have Shadow in one movie, you can, or I definitely think more people are going to want more of him after one movie. That's, that's what happened with Adventure 2. Remember, that's what happened, because died and then became so popular, came back in Heroes. So uh, I can just already see that happening already with him possibly getting, I, I wouldn't say like maybe a spinoff. I'd say he'll have, he has more popularity enough to have his own movie. It'd probably be a bit harder to utilize smaller characters, because I think they'll have to fully be careful with how they want to do certain characters because I'm not sure you could do like a uh, a tail show or an Amy show. I'd say the Chaotix can be, I'd say the Chaotix, I honestly want to see like a fun Chaotix one where 
it's like a detective story in a way where they're all just like solving different um for that type of spinoff show that i'd say would be a fun one as well as blaze i'd, I'd say blaze has the potential of doing well for a movie if they could do handle it well i'd say they could do well for a blaze movie and i'm not sure who else they could do because i don't if there are like big time characters where they're like in like the spotlight like sonic and shadow or knuckles then i'm not exactly sure they could be like headliners for a movie let's say everyone who's partially like not had a super form or um like had a big role in the games should not have like a move at all because like i could say T tails and knuckles show and of course knuckles is meant to test that and then maybe else because i'd say amy as well just be a show because i don't fully see anyone else having a movie of their own until like audiences are just fully warranting a movie from them. Now I recently did see this pop up Twitter and it talks about like the contracts on the public record for the copyright material that the Sonic movies are, al are allowed to use um, within guidelines. Cause, uh, so they pretty much are only allowed to like utilize these certain games when developing the movie. So when you look at the full list, you can look at this on the Web Voyage um, record review for um, the copyright catalogs. So pretty much, they can only utilize Sonic the Hedgehog 1, which we saw in the movie. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where we saw those events as well. Sonic CD, which is good because that means Metal Sonic can be utilized. Yes, sir. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which you of course saw because of Knuckles. And then Adventure 1 and 2. Good, because, yeah, we already knew Shadow can be utilized because, you know, that's what's going to happen in the video. But we also know that now is possibly be, um, maybe something related to Chaos uh, and Big the Cat as well, Gamma, those characters, Sonic Heroes, yep, what comes up must come down and what will rise up, will be, uh, hopefully Neo Metal Sonic, that'd be crazy. Sonic Riders was... This is, I, I have to recall, I can't fully recall, but I remember there was like a slight writer's reference in, but I have to double check. I remember, I, I think someone said something about that, and then Sonic 06, and lastly, Sonic Color, so they can essentially utilize those, um, material for the movie, so... That's what they are that we're gonna be working with. Mind looking at all the titles now, you can see that they have a lot of story they are able to utilize. Because yeah, we saw that they only they pretty much ut are utilizing what I'd say are four four games. Yeah, I'd say yeah they four they utilize four games for material while CD uh, Adventure Heroes Riders. 06 and colors will remain untouched at the moment so those i'd say are what can be utilized for story um for going forward in the future so i'm curious how they can utilize those when developing this whole universe i'd say from those two on that list heroes and riders definitely excite me for that type of material because of course heroes in some, um, some Metal Sonic action, because we could possibly see Metal Overlord and the Chaotix. And then with Riders, that, that intrigues me with what they could do. And I, I wouldn't know how they could handle the full-on Babylon story, as well as handle Sonic and Jet's rivalry in, Stoke, in racing. I really, I want to see that, just Jet's... Jet's been forgotten for so long now, and I want to see what they could do. I can see them do a, a slight Fast and Furious storyline, which they always joke about because they will never stop joking about Fast and Furious in Sonic. Never. And I'm, I'm thinking, and I want to see the Babylon story be adapted so badly. I definitely say all of their success, I'd say, will have to depend on how the knuckles show pants out because i i'm not sure if they'll fully dive in completely if it does not do well yeah 
for me, I'd say Knuckles is the test right now. So y'all better hope if y'all want to see like character more of these characters, I'd say you better hope Knuckles does well because I I know it will do well. I I have faith that they are going to lock in with Knuckles sure when it premieres and it speaks. Let me know what you'd want to see from this verse. What stories you're excited to possibly see going forward, Sonic and. What are you hoping to see in the Knuckles show? Let me know what y'all want to see next. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I shall see you when I see you.